America entered the 20th century with 45 states in the Union, the vast Alaskan Territory, and possessions in the Pacific and in the Caribbean, where American economic and political influences were dominant. At the head of this new and growing world power stood Theodore Roosevelt, whose vigorous leadership in both foreign and national affairs launched the modern era in American government. I believe the efficiency of this government depends upon a strong central executive. In theory, the executive has nothing to do with legislation. In practice, he is peculiarly representative of the people as a whole and offers the only means by which the people can get the legislation they demand and ought to have. At the turn of the century, the United States population was more than 76 million and growing rapidly as hundreds of thousands of immigrants poured in from Europe in search of a new and better life. As one of these new Americans, you quickly discovered that the streets were not paved with gold. Cities were overcrowded, and while you could usually find work, it was likely to be a menial, low-paid job, for instance in a sweatshop, where unhealthy, often dangerous working conditions were overlooked by local, state, and federal governments, all of which were largely under the influence of business. <laughs> 